Hello travel peeps, this is Yun Ching from YQ Traveling and today we are busting some career break wait, it's here. Busting some career break travel myths. So a bit of background, when I was, before I did my round the world trip in 2013, when I quit my job to travel, I met up people and then they usually fall in two sides of the camp. One side of the camp is super excited that I'm going traveling, while the other side of the camp is really worried and just they just try everything they do to stop me from going. And some of the things that I hear from camp negative are, number one, for me to take a career break and travel is dangerous. So uh, a background again is that I went on a round the world trip, meaning that I was going quite far literally around the world and one of the persons who I met up with he said he said he actually said this he said if I were your parents I wouldn't let my daughter travel alone like this and I thought thank god you're not my parents because my parents have a lot more faith in me a lot more faith that I can take care of myself when I was traveling around the world I did a lot of things to take care of myself so number one I returned to my hostel before sundown because night isn't that friendly for solo female travelers and of course when I'm walking around with my bag I always held it in front of me like a kangaroo and I also had a whistle in case I need to blow into it so I got the whistle tip from legal nomads Jody. she said that she has a whistle and then she could use it to scare off monkeys I used it once to scare off an Egyptian vendor that was kind of aggressive and of course when I'm traveling I'm also hyper vigilant I scan my surroundings all the time just to be sure that no weird people is following me and just to be sure that I am safe and of course, I also stay calm in the face of danger. There was this guy in Paris who said he wanted to kill me. And because I was calm, he eventually walked away. And I do recommend you read a book called The Gift of Fear if you want to read more about this. So um, in that book, it's kind of like saying that we have like a, an instinct of what can be dangerous. And if you're in a situation where your sixth sense tells you that mm, I, I don't think this is good, listen to it, all right? Listen to your intuition. And of course, another career break travel myth is it will ruin your career because there is a kind of thinking going around that you have to work until you die, no, until you retire before you can do things you want to do because if you quit in the middle of the road, employers are going to be like, what's up with this person? So anyway, again, there are two camps that I've seen during my current round of job search. So uh, I'm in the digital marketing space, which kind of probably kind of explains why there's that this these two very different um, uh, reactions. So one camp reaction was, "Oh, you mean you quit your job like that easily after three years of work? Are you you know afraid of hard work?" And so this guy that I met in an interview, he actually stood me up twice before he made me wait for one whole hour before I met him for the interview and then he was very rude and then his whole spiel was that because I am a lazy millennial that I, I shouldn't be trusted like to handle things and it was very insulting of course and of course you don't want to work with this kind of people neither right and uh, and then there is another camp who was like when they saw that I've been I'm working in the digital marketing industry for three years they're like wow very long huh it's like I'm sorry I said it in that weird accent, but for them it was like, oh, if you were, if you stay in a job for three years, that is considered long. Hmm. So think about it. Think about it. And of course, I also know a lady who actually took a career break to travel and then she went back into an amazing job at an amazing multinational company. So it would eventually boil down on what type of employee you are and then how good at you, how good of you how good are you at doing interviews as well so there's many factors floating around but I believe that if you work hard enough in like preparing for job interviews you can get in and number three myth about career break travel is that it's gonna be super expensive and why are you wasting your money so hmm um, it would very much depend on where you're going so I recommend that if you are going to take a career break to travel don't just quit your job to travel you need to sit down and plan you need to sit down and know where you're going and if the places you want to go aren't within your budget then don't go so for example when I was going on my round the world trip I made sure that 
when I was traveling that I went to countries where it wasn't that expensive. So I went to South America, I went to Greece, and I went to Italy. I did not go to like Sweden or those Northern European countries where I heard that living expenses is super expensive. So I did not go to those places. So if you're planning a career break to travel, do it within your means. Don't think that career break travel means that you're gonna be going like places you can't afford like and then burning through your credit cards. No, it's not that. I really do want you to still be a responsible young working adult. <laughs> I'm running a workshop on the first step in planning your career break travel. And what I'm gonna cover in this webinar, which you'll see on this side of the screen, this side of the screen is that I'm going to walk you through how to plan your finances. So how much you would need for your career break travel so that you know whether you know where you can go and then whether how long it'll take for you to save up and how long you can go on your trip. Because for my own trip, I knew that I had this much money to be able to spend. So I limited my, my time traveling to four and a half months because I knew that with this much money, imaginary much money, I cannot go on a full year trip without like cutting down on a lot of things. So I, if I, w I were going to use this much money to travel for a whole year, I would need to do a lot of couch surfing. I would need to go probably like super, super, super slow travel. And it wasn't what I wanted. And because I also didn't want to take that long of a break. So in this webinar where you will be joining, of course, I hope to see you there. Uh, I'm going to walk you through the steps you need to take to recognize like how much money you'll need for your plane tickets, how much money it is living ex like traveling costs in different countries and of course insurance, immunize, immune, immunization, I can't pronounce that word, it's a bit long, <laughs> like your vaccine, so how much it's going to cost. So eventually you have this budget that that will come out and then you see you look at your savings and you see like, you know how long it'll take for you to save and then you start planning from there. So. I hope you join me in that webinar. I'm going to put up the link in the comment section and as well the description box. I'm going to put it both ways. Or you can go there. You can see it on the screen. It's uh, bit.ly.com slash career break dash webinar. So uh, I'll be seeing you on that day. So it's a Saturday and if you can't make it live, it's okay. I'm going to send you a replay as well. And I'm debating what platform to host it on. I'll probably host it on Facebook. So. Uh, but I still want you to sign up because I'm going to send you reminders and if there are worksheets, I'm going to send you there as well. So I will be seeing you on Saturday and bye.